everyone. Welcome to Grace Church. My name is Kristen, and we are so glad that you are here to spend part of your weekend with us. We'll get today's service started here in a moment with some music, and then we'll have a message that will be sure to encourage you and help you grow in your faith. All together, we'll be here for a little over an hour, but before we get started, I wanted to share with you our mission here at Grace Church. Grace Church exists to help lead people to experience the life that Jesus gives. We know that you have lots of options on Sunday morning, and we want to thank you for being with us. Are you looking to get connected here at Grace Church? Here at Grace, we offer LifeTrack. LifeTrack is designed to help you experience the life that Jesus gives. Wherever you are in your life's journey, LifeTrack can help you discover how to invite Jesus to transform your thinking and choices so that your life is all God wants it to be. We encourage all guests and members at Grace to experience the small groups we have titled First Step, Next Step, and Leader Step. To learn more and to sign up, please stop by our website at gcserita.org. The outreach team at Grace Church will be collecting baby items as shown here for a local nonprofit organization, Hands of Hope. The purpose of Hands of Hope is to live out God's heart to renew His image in the lives of those that have been impacted by unplanned pregnancy and abortion. Please bring these items on this date. To learn more on how you can help in this effort, please stop by Grace Central in the lobby or go to our website at gcserita.org. Hi, I'm Andrew Palau, co-host of this year's National Day of Prayer Observance Broadcast. This is a year of celebration. We have a lot to be thankful for. The National Day of Prayer celebrates 70 years of prayer for America. That's amazing. And it is wonderful to live in a nation where, by law, every year on the first Thursday of May, the President proclaims a day of prayer. God has heard and answered seven decades of prayers, weaving His glory through the fabric of America's past, present, and future. And now I'm asking you to put it in your calendar. Join with us and millions of believers across the nation as we pray this year's theme from 2 Corinthians 3.17, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Our prayer is, Lord, pour out your love, life, and liberty. God wants us to help other kids so we can make a difference so that people in other countries have exactly all that we, they need. They need food, water, and medical service and shelter. We can all show kids the love of Jesus, sponsor a child, and make a difference. Here's the thing, I can't volunteer for VBS this year. I take care of my own kids all day. I'm already tithing, what else do they want from me? Kids just don't get me. I don't know anything about the Bible. I am not a juice and crackers man. My kids are already grown up. I can't sing. I can't carry a tune. I volunteered last decade. I need less stress in my life. I'm allergic to glitter. Kids are girls. I don't have enough vacation days. Let's be honest, you don't want me teaching your kids. Look, we've heard it all before. So cut the sweat and sign up for BBS. I think God called me to the park lot ministry. Well, that's all for now. Thanks again for joining us today. To stay up to date with what's going on around here, please stop by our website at gcserita.org or connect with us on social media. To view the content from this video again, please follow us on our YouTube channel. And if you missed last week's message, you can listen or watch it from our website. Thank you for joining us today, and we hope you enjoy the service.